What's going on? I'm Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. I've been out testing for the past couple of weeks and had some really great results. So we're about to watch those four passes from the two different test sessions. The first two are going to be from a regular testing two night at Bowling Green. Did pretty good out there. Keep in mind as you watch these two clips, I am geared for the eighth mile, so I was letting out roughly around the eighth mile, maybe a little bit past, and I was really only worried about my eighth mile times. And then the two passes after that are going to be from a test session here at Clarksville Speedway, which is in preparation for the Clarksville Cash Days that's coming up on June 27th. Prep was really great, it was a really good time, and it was a great time for everyone to get their setups dialed in for the big race. So, hope you guys enjoy these videos.
Let's do a quick data review of that last pass. So this was my first pass off the trailer and I had the settings in it, the exact same settings that I left in it the week before from that second pass at Bowling Green. I put the car in the trailer, loosened the shocks up and left it in the trailer for the entire week until I pulled it out for this pass and reset the shocks. So looking at the data here, just so everyone knows what's going on boost wise and timing wise. On the two-step right here, this red line is my RPM. On the two-step, 4300 RPM as usual, launched at about nine pounds of boost. Converter flashes up to 6500, almost 6600 RPM. Lays over a little bit. I still need to hit, hit it with a little bit more power with this second gear leave in the TH400. Starts to come back up and I shift a little late around 8300 RPM. And it looks like the boost right there at the top of second gear is 26.7 pounds, 15.5 degrees of timing. Um, manifold air temp looks really good at 110 degrees. Oil pressure, fuel pressure, all great. Shift drop goes down roughly to 6,700 RPM and then continues to climb back up all the way until we hit 5.33 seconds right here and I was at 27.5 pounds of boost there as well and 14 degrees. One thing I want you guys to notice is look how low the timing is right here on the shift drop. 12 degrees of timing at 20 and it, the boost flashed up a little bit. That's pretty normal when you load the engine up on the shift. But at 28.8 pounds of boost and 6700 RPM I'm only at 12 degrees of timing. That's kind of my game plan to keep the heads down on the motor this year. Well, everything looked good on that pass. A little bit of wheel speed. That purple line right there is my drive shaft speed. You can see the little humps in it are where the tires are spinning just a little bit. Nothing terrible. So, let's go ahead and look at this next pass. So I did set a new personal best on the 60 foot. That's a 121 60 foot. And it was a 526 at 132.5 miles per hour. Very happy with it. So let's take a look at the data. All right, here's the data from that second pass. 
I was extremely, extremely happy with the car on this pass. I actually didn't expect it to go that fast. A um, little difference here. I came back after the first pass and I decided to hit the up arrow on the boost controller so I was running a little bit more boost. And also here you can see I stayed on the two step a little bit longer and I left the line at 12.6 pounds of boost. Converter flashed up nice to 6600. It's still laid over a little bit. Got a little bit of wheel speed right there. You can see on the purple line here. Nothing too terrible though. And then climbed back up the converter. Shifted this one actually a little early, 7800 RPM. Shift dropped back to 65-ish RPM, 6500 RPM, making about 30, almost 31 pounds of boost. Look how low the timing is there. The timing is at 10.8 degrees because 6500 is right above peak torque for my motor. So I want to keep the timing real low right there to keep the heads down, keep the head gaskets alive. And manifold air temp right here is 103 degrees which ain't bad it wasn't very cool outside i want to say it was in the high 70s maybe low 80s climbing on up the boost tapers off to 29 let's just say 30 pounds of boost and at 5.26 seconds down here which would have been the end of the run i was at 7500 rpm roughly 30 pounds of boost and uh that's really about it. I mean, the pass was good overall. You can see the car's dropping a little bit of oil pressure here off the line, which is just a byproduct of a wet sump. I'm running 10 quarts of oil. I can't run any more. It doesn't drop really far enough to, to hurt the motor. It just gets a little mad right there off the line. But man, overall, extremely, extremely happy with that pass, especially for the conditions. The car did, did extremely well. and I really hate to say there's more left in it. I hate that that phrase but I felt like with some more tuning the car is definitely going to at least get back down into the 5-1 area and keeping the heads on at that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, like always comment like and subscribe stay tuned for some more racing action I'm going to get out there and actually start doing some good racetrack videos again um, but that's it for now guys I'll talk to y'all later